Thank you for staying with us. Now let's begin with some cheering news. Making promises and never fulfilling them is a pastime of politicians in our climb. But the trend is gradually changing as Easter celebration came early for pensioners in Abia State, southeast Nigeria. Nine years of pain and anguish are finally over for retired workers of the state. As Governor Alex Oti has kept his campaign promise of clearing accumulated pension by past government. Credit alert swept across the state with tears of joy as humanity wins yet again over politics. Gentlemen, this is good news. Yes, it is. Um, uh, some got 1.8 million, some got more than that. And for people who have not received anything for years, it's, it's like Christmas coming in April. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have to give uh, Governor Oti the credit for the good things that he's doing in the state. No one can argue that Abia State that was used in the past to signpost misgovernance, bad governance, and uh, incompetent leadership has become a model in our country for good governance, for purposeful leadership. When a leader is committed to make, making good things happen for his people, it is self-evident. People will see it. Absolutely. I've not been to Abia uh, for quite some time, but I hear about what's going on in Abia at this time. And it gives me joy that an Alex O.T. who sought to lead that state on a number of occasions and was victim of rigging, eventually got into office and we have seen what he can do. And this is just the beginning. I believe that the good people of uh, God's own state, although I believe my own state is actually God's own state, <laughs> will see a lot more from this diminutive, uh, pint-sized governor. It is a new dawn in Abia State and it makes us happy here at Journalist Anger because this is what we challenge our leaders to do. Absolutely. Sikhead, what says these pensioners were shedding tears of joy? Yes. Um, you know, um, when uh, Biki was talking about he has not been to Abia for some time, um, I would just ask him to, Biki, try and go to Abia. And um, when I go to Abia, you know you pass through my state. In fact, you drop in my state first, then you take a cab from Mowere mm -hmm. to Abia State because there's no airport in Omoaia. But it's good news uh, because for me, uh, what is happening in Abia should, should be a, a sign of concern to um, those of us in Imo State. Imo um, uh, Omoaia, uh, the Abia State capital, is just less than five kilometers from my village, Obo. In fact, my village is the, is the boundary between Abia and Imo State, once you hit my village, immediately after my village, you just cross a small bridge, you enter Umapara uh, in uh, Abia. So I'm, I would say that I'm more closer to Abia State than even my own state capital, which takes about an hour to go and see what is going on in Abia State. It gives me joy because, just as Biko rightly said, Abia has been a sort of laughing stock for so many people, especially some people in the southeast. Um, let me say since 1999. Abia State, used to, Abia State used to be part of Imo State and before it was called out. And I'll say, I'll say that successive government in Abia State since 1999 seems not to have gotten it right. If you go to Umahia, Umahia looks like a glorified town, village, as it were. You see videos. Yes. Uh, if you've been to Umahia, it looks like a glorified that to the extent that you do, they don't have a government house. What they have is just a, 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 a I don't know what, a hired uh, place um, is full of uh, bungalows. But good enough to, to some credit, to give credit to the last governor, so, uh, Okezek Bazu. He was able to put up um, a, 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 what you call a government house, but he didn't finish it. He finished to a point, and um, he didn't move into that place until the bet. 
you see what uh, Oti has done. I said it here two weeks ago, last week, when I was on the program, that if you look at the entrance road into um, Uma here, it has been dualized. That has not been done in over 20-something years, that other governors, uh, governors have been there. He has been lucky also, with, he's taking the glory for what is happening in, in terms of electricity in Aba. Although it was not started by him, <laughs> it was uh, started by other <laughs> previous governments uh, in, uh, in collaboration with uh, um, uh, what is this now? Um, engineer uh, Professor Bart Naj. But it has come to fruition. That is, is that. So a lot is happening in uh, and, uh, and this brings me to what I've always said time with that number. You don't need to be a politician to be a good leader. Unless okay. OT has never been in politics. What I mean, yes, he has been trying to be governor, but you cannot say that he was a former commissioner, local government, or you, you equate, even to the largest thing, I wanted to say like Fashola, but he couldn't have been like Fashola because Fashola was chief of staff to, to the former governor. And so he wasn't, he, he wasn't even a chief of, he wasn't in government. But he has, a, he has a roadmap that he had, and what he has been doing is to follow the roadmap. And when you look at what you get from the center every month, what you get from the federal account every month, if you see where Abia State lies, as I get other states, and you'll be sure by the kind of things he's doing. So kudos to him. Uh, it's just barely one year there. But I don't like praising our, our, our leaders. That is because, <laughs> you know why, you know why, you know that, why now? Because when we start praising these people, before you know it, they will derail. Mm. So let us see that. Let him remain focused on what he's doing. But what I like about him is he points um, areas, certain areas where he thinks are critical to the development of the state. And he see it through. Even the, some of the roads, if you look at some of the roads that he has built in, uh, in uh, Abia State, Abba and some other places, you will see that this is a guy that is focused and, and he's not of a PDP. He's not of APC. Mm. He's, Labour, he's only Labour Party governor. In the whole of Nigeria. And it seemed like a politician who does not really like uh, dirty politics. I mean, look at his um, birthday messages to the president. The man, the man, that's why I say he's focused. He's not a politician. He's, a, uh, he's more of a technocrat rather than a politician. And that is why you see what he's doing and what is happening. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said, we in Imo State, let us also borrow a leaf from what is happening in Abia so that we don't become a 